Hello? Yeah. You can hear me. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, you see it? Yeah. Okay, so that what we were just looking at, right? That AR. So let's say we're going to have perpetual mm -hmm. and periodic. So let's say, let's talk, the first thing is you made a sale, right? Yeah. We'll go perpetual first. If you made a sale for me for $10, let's say either cash, you want to do cash or accounts receivable? It doesn't matter. Let's do accounts receivable. Okay. So if I sold you something on, you, you bought something from me on account, which means I, to me it's accounts receivable mm -hmm. and I'm increasing my revenue yeah. for 10 10 at the same time i have to, if it's perpetual i have to record inventory mm -hmm. so i have to do this is a separate entry right under it no it would hold on so con, Wait, isn't it debit in oh no no you're right you're right okay So this would be what I record if I were to sell you something, right? Yes. Okay, so now if you were to return it to me, okay. Oh wait, that's not right. Oh yeah, sales return and allowances for $10. And then my AR is gonna go down by $10. Cause you, let's just say you return the full amount, whatever. Uh -huh. you, you said you bought $10 worth of stuff. You're like, for us, I don't want this stuff anymore. You can have it. So I had already done the first entry, mm -hmm. right, right here. Yeah. The second entry is going to be sales return allowances for 10 and I'm reducing what you owe me the AR I'm reducing it. Mm -hmm. And I would also have to still record cogs mm -hmm. and inventory, but instead of the way these are right here, you just switch them because now you're increasing your inventory because you're getting back your inventory that you sold by 10 by five, five, because First of all, the cost of the inventory to us is $5. But what I sold it to you is $10 because as a company, I'm trying to make profit. If I'm just selling people what I buy stuff for, I'm not making money, right? Yeah. So that's why COGS and inventory will always be a different amount than what your sale is because people, people buy inventory, but they, they, up the, they, they buy wholesale inventory and then they up the price and sell it to consumers, right? Mm -hmm. So this is how it looks like you'll owe your inventory will always be less than what your sales are unless they're selling it at a loss, which many companies don't do unless yeah. they just need to sell it at a loss. So, um, so that's why you would debit your inventory to increase it. And then you're crediting cogs, you're lowering cogs, right? Yeah because COGS has a debit right here, it's a debit increase. But since, since we're not expensing it anymore, we can, since, I didn't, since you're returning it to me, I can't expense it. So that's why I'm returning the expense. I'm unexpensing it basically by crediting COGS. So th these two are just the reversal of these two. It just, mm -hmm. if it's a sales return, you're just, because you're putting it back, you're just putting it back. You're putting the inventory back in, you're unexpensing it because you can't expense it if you haven't sold it. Same with, and then the first one right here, we're getting rid of inventory because I sold it to you. And then we have to, we're debiting COGS because since I got rid of inventory, I have to expense it. So COGS is an expense. COGS is an expense. Cost of a good sold is an, is, is an expense. It lowers net income. You know the net income, like the 
Increases in expense, lowers your net income. Okay. Sales minus expense or minus COGS equals GP. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Was it? Sales minus expense equals your gross profit. No, no, no. That's available to sale or something. Yeah, sales minus cogs equals GP. That's the that's the that's the main one. Mm -hmm. And then so that's why sales lowers your net income. I mean, sorry, uh, COGS lowers your net income because it's an, it, COGS is an expense account. So that was, this is what you would do, right? If you did a, if for the perpetual, if you got, if this is, this is what you get if you were to sell something, and this is what you would get if that, if, if they returned it back to you. Okay. Sale, okay. So now if we want to do periodic. Basically everything's the same except we don't do the cogs and in inventory. Basically, yeah. It would just be AR rev. And then if they returned it, sales R plus A and then AR. Okay. Like that. Because you see, like this, you're basically doing a reversal of this when you go down here. But instead of reducing your revenue directly, you're using this account instead of revenue. Otherwise, you could just do the same thing debit revenue and credit AR. That would mean the same thing as this. But this is that, that's what this acts as. They, you can't like debit revenue really. Yeah. You have to have this account. Okay. That's why this has a debit increase. See how this is, see, instead of debiting revenue, there's an account called sales R, which you debit. This acts as the contra account to revenue instead of directly just um, directly debiting revenue. Okay. It's really confusing, but when you, when you explain it, it makes sense. Awesome. Thank you. Hopefully it Hopefully it does. <laughs> well, like if you if if it's still does like if it's if it's still kind of not coming through because it does that to me too. Just let yeah. me know. Like, okay, I'm gonna do like problems and then if I have questions, I'll come back. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. All right. Bye.